Well, thank you very much, Rob, and uh, thank you very much, Dean Usher and the entire College of Fine Arts for this wonderful honor. I never thought I would live long enough to get it, uh, <laughs> but I'm very grateful that I did. And of course, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people that I need to thank uh, that helped me along the way. I think the first person that I would like to thank is uh, Rita Dean and Abby whose beautiful museum uh, opened up this year. Uh, when I was in her drawing class doing life drawing, she uh, asked me to come in and she had hung uh, 25 of my life drawing paintings on the wall. She and two other uh, professors uh, critiqued them and uh, they asked me if I was an art major. And I said, well, no, I'm an English major right now. And, uh, Jerry Foffel said, well, how's that treating you? And I said, well, I'm only getting a B. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, we'll give you a scholarship if you'll change your major to art. <laughs> and that was all I needed, because that's what I had wanted to be since I was a small child. I grew up in such an enriched household with my mother and father. They were great educators. And uh, I, owe, I owe my uh, art career to Rita Dean and Abby. Uh, she was quite an inspiration to me, and she, of course, retired uh, from UNLV and became Professor Emeritus. Um, but uh, it really all started with my mother and father, who were terrific people, and uh, it was like growing up in a grammar school. <laughs> Dad was a mathematician and football coach, and Mom was an English teacher, and uh, they would set up a little desk for me before I was even uh, four years old. And my sister and my mother taught me how to read before I even went to kindergarten. So it was a magnificent uh, start to life and uh, I'm very grateful for that. And there's so many people, many of whom are sitting at this table over here that I would like to thank as well. Of course, number one would have to be my wife, Lynn, who is my muse. <laughs> She's been 100% solid behind me for 40 years, and I'm ever grateful. And sitting next to her is my good friend Kathleen Nathan. And uh, the three of us together really uh, created the Arts District. We moved the CAC downtown, and with the help of Nancy Diener, we uh, established the uh, CAC, the Contemporary Arts Collective as it was known then, it became the Contemporary Arts Center. It lasted for 27 years. And um, with her, uh, it was an amazing learning experience. We also opened Small Works Gallery and Las Vegas Gallery in the Arts Factory building. We were the first and perhaps too early <laughs> at that endeavor, but it was, uh, it was great fun and I'll be forever grateful uh, for knowing Kathleen. And, um, I'd like to thank my sister-in-law, Chris, who has always been a support. She, as a matter of fact, she bought the very first piece of art uh, that I ever sold. <laughs> and we didn't even know each other. I didn't know she'd become my sister-in-law. <laughs> but it was a great experience. I'd like to thank my, my uh, air traffic controller. Uh, we just went to... Uh, um, London and to uh, the University of Derby where I was uh, invited to speak at the uh, Format International Film Fest fi or Photography Festival. And uh, I was able to show 25 of my pieces there and uh, it was really a great experience. I always feel like whenever I go uh, out of the country that, it's, uh, that I'm an ambassador for Las Vegas and for UNLV. And uh, I've got to say that uh, Laura has, has been my air traffic controller, my uh, assistant, and she's, uh, she's helped to uh, facilitate uh, kind of the cap off of a really wonderful career. And I'm forever indebted to you, Laura. And of course, my, my son, Brooke, is uh, sitting here. He's also a UNLV guy in hotel administration. And I'm very proud of him. He's the general manager of Monomika B, which has got to be one of the coolest restaurants in the world. And uh, if you get that premier seat, you can watch the Bellagio Fountain. 
And if you, if you go there at the right time, you might even be able to watch Formula One. <laughs> and of course, his lovely wife, Sasha, and both of them together gave me one of the greatest presents I've ever had, which is my grandson, Reese, who's now 18 months old. And uh, I guess probably one of the loves of my life. So, But anyway, I uh, am forever grateful to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I taught here for 13 years. It was a great honor to teach here, and um, I enjoyed, uh, you know, trying to make a difference in my students' lives and to encourage them along a very difficult path. But if you've got friends and family like I have, it's no big deal. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody.